Well, I think the, the, the most important part is we, uh, I think he spent a couple of years trying to get a record deal doing other people's songs. And he was really frustrated by the time I, you know, we got together. Uh, and I just figured that his songs had an imperfection to them. But it, buried in that imperfection was an honesty and, and every man language was buried in there. And I thought, you know, he doesn't need to run through the Nashville system because Nashville is notorious for turning you into a craft writer. And I deliberately pushed back on that and, and wouldn't do that. And, and then there was, a, at the point that he got so busy, then he began to write by himself. And that's when it got really deep, the wealth of, of everything that he'd kind of absorbed in his life. And it, it came out, you know, and it just made, the great, the great thing about him is that we never knew what we were going to record when we went in to make a record. We, we figured it out on the date, you know, it would be a conversation on his bus. And he'd bring out a box and he'd go, well, this is what I've written. And he'd bring out some papers and stick them down. And, I'd, and we just would start, we'd say, well, let's go cut that. You know, so we'd cut one, and then we'd come back and sit on his bus, and I'd go, what else you got? And he'd, he'd dig through there, and we'd find another one. So it's probably the easiest record-making process I've ever been through, and he just made it easy. And I let him be who he is instead of trying to make him conform to something that would never be truthful for him.